Hey guys, it's John. Um, I'm back with part two of creating video tutorials, and I really ought to call these screen captures because technically that's what we're we're doing is just capturing the image on the screen. All right, I'm in my iPhoto library, and in my iPhoto library, I have events. Um, of an event is where you uh, say I just imported a bunch of pictures from my camera. So. There are 61 photos uh, that I took of this um, uh, rock planting. Um, I just recently made a video of this, but 61 pictures was way too many. You can see I took a bunch the same using different settings. and um, So I wanted to separate out and get just the best one. So I did that by creating um, an album. So... Um, here it is right here, Cantilever Rock Planning, and you create an album just by simply saying File New Album. All right, I gave it a name, I put it here, and then once I have it, um, once you have the album over here, then you simply select the pictures you want. All right, so I'm going to hold my Command key and just, just say these were the pictures I wanted. I select those pictures, and then I drag them and drop them right into my album. That's the easiest way to get the pictures in there. Alright, once the pictures are in the album, so now I've selected the album, um, I can reorder the pictures. I can move them around, I can delete, and I'm not deleting the original picture. Um, this just gives me a lot of flexibility to put the orders, put the pictures in an order that makes sense. Um, I can also use this time to think about them. When I double click a picture it goes full screen or nearly full screen. Um, and then I can use the arrow keys to go through. So before I ever make my movie, I'm thinking about what I'm going to say with each of these pictures, how fast I'm going to go, um, what things I want to highlight, uh, where I want to use my mouse, uh, thinking about all those things. So um, really, it's it's a matter of practice. So so now we want to start the video. So. I'm looking at the size here. You don't really want to go full screen with these videos. This, the one I'm showing you now is full screen, and that's because I'm recording a recording process. So, um, and I thought, thought full screen was the best way to show that. But, okay, the tool I sent you to the other day was called Jing, or not the other. Excuse me. In the other, in the first video is called Jing, and uh, this is the Jing program. All right, you don't go to start or anything applications to find it it just hovers here all the time and it looks like a little sun and the sun can be anywhere around you can put him wherever you want him but when you when you click on him he gets these three little arms that come out and the first arm is the capture button the second arm is the history you can see all the videos you've made in the past there's no need to save them because they're right here in your history once you once you imp, uh, like uh, upload to YouTube, you don't have to save the, the video additionally because it's it's right here in your history. And then there's the settings button. One thing I'll show you, if you're going to upload to YouTube, um, in the preferences you need to change the video format to MPEG-4 as opposed to SWF. And remember what I said in the first video, this does require that you upgrade to Jing Pro. Um, and I don't think I said this in the first first video. I am in no way associated with Jing whatsoever. I have just found this a useful tool um, and have enjoyed using it. So um, that is my only association with Jing. I use it at work. So now I want to make my video. So I'm going to use my capture and as I mentioned earlier I only want to capture uh, part of the screen. I don't want to capture the whole screen. That makes the video size too large. It makes it difficult to view because typically when people view these, they don't view them full screen. Um, they view them as part of the screen. So uh, it's better to select a small area of the screen than all of the screen. Okay, I'm set up here. I have a couple of buttons here. I can use a capture image button right here. I can use capture a video button right here. Um, I can turn on my webcam. Uh, and I can redo selection. That allows me, if my selection is not quite right, without closing out the program and starting again, I can redo my selection. So um, I'll show you capture an image real quick because it's so easy. I don't use it very often, but um, you select the tool you want. Um, so all I did was select that button, and now I have an image. So now if I wanted to point here and say, yep, the top of this tree is too tall. It needs to get squished down. It needs to go down, 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 all of it. Um, much more compact form. You can see how easy it is to put those little arrows 
uh, I can use the text tool uh, and type in some text <clears throat> all right and then all I do is copy this or save it and it becomes a picture this is the name so you can change the name of it right here um, it's it's that easy to do a picture all right so I'm gonna cancel that I don't want to save that picture show you how easy it is to get started select my area all right this time I'm gonna do a video so here we go I click the video button it gives me a countdown all right so there's my countdown and I can start um, uh, talking about my video here uh, I use the mouse um, I can use my left and right arrow keys and uh, one trick about um, QuickTime or uh, iPhoto is once you start Jing you've got to start your uh, full screen over again so anyhow there I am I can go through um, when I'm finished uh, I've said everything I want to say well, let me show you this uh, there's your countdown timer remember you only have five minutes with Jing you got five little blocks there you can see it's filling in um, you do not want to hit the X X will actually cancel it if you screw the video up if you say something wrong or whatever hit this button right here it restarts the recording from scratch okay um, I can mute the microphone if I want to do that I can turn on or switch between the webcam I can pause the recording if I need to pause it or when I'm finished I can say stop if you hit the five minute time limit it stops automatically for you so I'm gonna go ahead and stop and watch how fast this is there it is the video is finished okay so I can hit the play button All right so there's my countdown and there we go and I can start um, all right uh, from here, all I do at this point is give it a name. All right, and then I click the YouTube upload button. Uh, the YouTube upload button will then, I had to put in my YouTube account. You have to have a YouTube account, obviously, and my password, and it automatically uploads. When it finishes uploading, uh, you have your choice. It will copy onto the clipboard either the link to the movie or the embed code. So I typically use the link and I'll let it copy that to my clipboard and then I'll go to IBC and post the video or um, start a new thread. Uh, oh, let me just show you. It's that. Let's see. I don't really have it copied, so that won't work. Uh, okay. Anyhow, um, you can see how easy it is to make the movie there. Uh, the other way I might use this program um, or make a movie here is to um, say, for example, here's a here's a post from Iris um, uh, about a Trident Maple. And as I scroll down here, I see she's she's included a picture. And perhaps I might like to comment about this picture instead of typing something out and trying to explain, well, the little branch coming out from the bottom branch could be an apex or, you know, blah, blah, blah. I can very easily come right here and drag out my little box around the picture and start my video. Three, two, one. And now I can say, hey, Iris, I'm looking at your trident maple here I think maybe you need to rotate it uh, clockwise you know, whatever it might be so um, it's it's that easy when I say stop remember I stop I finish the recording then I can upload it to YouTube change the name upload it to YouTube and I'm done that easy all right guys I hope this was helpful um, I may do uh, some other videos especially if there are some requests on how to do things so Thanks, guys.